Hey guys, it's Eugenia Kuzmina from Bad Moms, the new girl and upcoming top guys with Gary Ritchie and I'm here with amazing Vanessa from Bamo Radio. So stay tuned. I'm here today with a very special guest, musician Ryan Gregg. Hey Ryan, how are you? Good, how you doing Vanessa? Um, I'm pretty good, of course it's COVID going on, so it's a lot going on around our atmosphere right now, but I'm really glad to be hearing from you, especially that you're doing well, so that's really good to hear. Yeah, no complaints. Absolutely. So Ryan, knowing that you are actually hold a lot of different titles and wear a lot of different hats, you're a pianist, composer, producer, singer, songwriter, just all kinds of great, amazing things that you do in the music industry. So can you kind of tell us or give us a taste of how did you get started in the music industry? Uh, I started as a piano player. I had lessons growing up, uh, who a great teacher who kind of put, put, put me in the direction of like jazz and blues music. Mm -hmm. So I spent a long time uh, living in that kind of world. And then uh, I went to college at University of Miami after uh, graduating high school. I went to Frost for film scoring, but I fell in love with uh, songwriting and performing. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I leaned into. And then I moved back to Asbury Park, where actually I, was, I went to New York City, toured with a band out of there for a couple of years, and eventually moved back home to Jersey to uh, Red Bank, Asbury Park area, Jersey Shore, and have been working there ever since. Wow, fantastic. That's amazing. It sounds a really fulfilling journey for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been fun. Absolutely, absolutely. And also you've had a lot of great opportunities that you were able to pick up um, during your career, um, including having your music featured in Comedy Central, which is really amazing. Um, also the show called Blark and Sun that you had your music featured in. So can you kind of tell us, like, give us a taste, how did you land that opportunity or, you know, the opportunity <clears throat> to co-produce? You know, in my experience, which might be different, you know, every musician and everybody in the business is different, but if you aim for an opportunity, you're going to be disappointed a lot of times because opportunities come and go in this business all the time. But if you put yourself in proximity to where these opportunities are happening, uh, interesting things can happen, you know? And my, eight years ago, I did a gig, maybe, maybe a decade ago I, with Shady Street Show Band, we did a gig, we did a split EP with a friend's band who has a punk band. Uh, it was for the hell of it. We did three of their tunes, they did three of ours. We did a show, it was a lot of fun. We produced an EP. I met a sax player on that gig that I became very friendly with. Uh, we maintained close relationships. Eventually, uh, that sax player, we had a lot of opportunities together. Eventually, he was the one who introduced me to Eric Lindell. So I went on the road with Eric Lindell for about a year, off and on, and got to, I got to go to some pretty cool places. One of those places happened to be the Green Parrot in Key West. So when I was down at the Green Parrot, I met the owner of the Green Parrot and I hit it off and we were hanging out and he allowed me the chance to bring my band down to go to the Green Parrot. So he gave us a trial gig and then we went down probably seven to nine times over the course of like two or three years. Wow. Uh, I love, 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 love that place. Uh, but one time we went down I decided to make a video of like a pirate shanty because I was just excited to go down. So I just made the video and threw it up online. And for no particular reason that I was felt inspired at that moment. 
And then a local guy saw that and needed someone with that kind of funny voice for this cartoon thing he was doing. And then two years later, after building that relationship with him, the Comedy Central gig came along. So he got his, so he got that opportunity through his agent. And then he called me because I could help lay down the music or I could lay down my vocal on top of what he was doing and kind of assist in that way. So it was a very collaborative process. You know, it wasn't like there was no moment where it was like, hi, I'm Ryan Gregg and I'm playing the Shakespeare Free Showman and I want to make music for you. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just one relationship leads to the next. And as long as you carry yourself with integrity and as long as you're working hard and you're putting yourself in the right positions, just kind of working with the right people, you know, mm -hmm. the work will naturally, more opportunities will naturally start to present themselves instead of kind of like, because if you're placing your mental state on that opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, gigs come and go all the time. I've lost gigs for very stupid reasons. I've lost gigs because they've been my own fault. I've gotten gigs for no reason at all, you know? And like, as long as you're working hard, as long as you're putting yourself in the right place, these opportunities just start to come more and more often, you know? And it's, it's a lot yeah. less stressful than kind of, I need this thing as opposed to, I'm just going to work as hard as I can in this community of people that are all working hard and more opportunities to work are gonna present themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. I definitely agree with you there for sure. And also actually you mentioned um, Eric Lindo, which you actually toured for nationally along with um, Dana Fuchs. So if you kind of tell me what was that like, of course, that was pre-COVID when things were open and people were um, more active and were able to go out. Um, but how was that experience actually being able to tour nationally around the world? Uh, well, we were only nationally, uh, but we, uh, it was fun. You know, it was, uh, I, it was, I was working with guys who knew what they were doing. And I walked into a situation where uh, the skill sets I had built up over the years translated to what I was doing on stage. And it was, I played my first, oh, I, I played a stadium gig with Eric uh, up in North New York. I was, did some really cool gigs in Maine, or I'm sorry, in uh, Connecticut with Dana Fuchs. And it was fun, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot of work, but, you know, those guys were hit harder than anybody else during the pandemic. And luckily for me, you know, I have writing and I have producing and I have all these other kind of outlets for what I do. Yeah. But uh, the musicians who are strictly the side men or side women or side guys of these artists were cut off at the knees because they're just not working, you know? And even the best gig on earth is an hourly. So if you're not working, you're not making money. Whereas like if you're a writer or producer, you can collect on, you can still work. You can collect on royalties if it's placed right. But like, so I consider myself lucky that I've kind of had my hand in so many cookie jars over the years that yeah. I've uh, been able to sustain myself. Absolutely, definitely. And also you're talking about different kind of opportunities as well. You constantly being able to um, reinvent yourself and to continue to work. You also the band leader for your own band, um, the Shady Street Show Band. So can you kind of tell us what are you guys working on right now, even though it's COVID going on and there's not much we can do as far as performing live. Um, is there anything you guys are kind of working on that we can look forward to? Uh, we're working on a new album right now, new material. We're probably going to release in the next, uh, definitely sometime this year. Uh, and we're probably going to get back out there this summer as well. Uh, as things begin to open up, but uh, we're working on that right now. I'm actually going into the studio with those guys on Saturday uh, to record some new material. So we're it's in the works currently, but excited to keep that moving. Absolutely. And of course, is there any way we can stay connected with you, Ryan, you know, find out more about your music or even check you out? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at, at Ryan Greg Music or uh, at the Shady Street Show Band. Uh, and the Shady Street Show Band.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ryan. I appreciate you. Please stay safe out there. And I really wish you guys the best. Thank you so much. Pleasure talking with you.